Would I enjoy being a dining hall worker? Mm -hmm. Probably not, because I feel that uh, I wouldn't like working for students. Like they don't appreciate the things I do for them. I don't think I'd enjoy being a dining hall worker. I feel like the job is very taxing. The benefits are probably not very good, and just long hours, hard work. It doesn't seem like a very enjoyable job. I work at the Frank and Oldenburg Dining Hall and I'm in the housekeeping department and also I do the uh, utility for um, it, dish room for helping the dish person. The challenges uh, working at the dining hall is um, there's a lot of things but it's a big challenge for me because there's a lot of tables to wipe and especially at Ordenburg there's close to 50 I think. I try to like leave the tables as clean as possible. First it was a challenge for me and coming back to the Frank Hall there's lots of tables over here. It's a physical job for me so I have to move fast and try to clean the floors. I have to clean, I have to pick up every little crumb. It's hard since I had to finish everything on time and this job is pretty much on time. You have to move like clock, clockwise in order to finish your job and get everything finished before the, d the dinner or the lunch is prepared. And I'm pretty much used to it. I was born in Tokyo, Japan in the year of 1956. The big part of making the decision to come to the States was I really wanted to see other, what, what the other part of the world was like. Living in Japan was great, but I just wanted to like um, be on my own and explore the world a little bit more and I just didn't want to stay in one place. I only had one suitcase in my hand, not knowing the directions or anything. I did not know going either like left and right. And I just wasn't thinking, I think, because I was so young and, you know, I just wanted to feel free and do whatever I wanted to do. My first job in the States was at the bank. The reason why I had to leave the bank was because uh, my boss we dated for like three years, I think, and we got married when I was 27 years old. During this time, um, I um, found this job as a medical receptionist. Two years later, I had my first daughter, um, Charlene. She was born. And my second daughter I had when I was um, 32 years old. My dad left when we were really little and I don't really remember us doing too many things together as a family, but I remember her, she would always like try to take us places and she kind of tried to fill that gap for us. After the divorce hit, you know, everything was just, it just happened so fast, it just split. My dad just took off and he eventually remarried and has his own family and then my mom, you know, she had us to take care of and I think that was just so, like a huge challenge. It's like all of a sudden you're this family, you know, you have these pieces that, you know, somewhat fit into a puzzle and then all of a sudden when like something so huge happens, such as a divorce, your life really takes a toll and you're, and for my mom I know, she's like, okay, I gotta get it together, you know, I have two kids to raise on my own, I have to provide for these kids, I have to be pretty much every single role that a father and a mother would play. It's my family, I say, that motivates me a lot, that I should try harder, work harder for them, and make them happy. When I got laid off from the job, um, I, I, did, I really didn't know what to do because um, like I was in a um, panic mood that I need to like, get a job. So every day I was pretty much stressed out at that time and I still remember. I clearly remembered that 
I couldn't sleep and the next morning I got up early I went on the I was behind the computer looking for a job till about um, five o'clock in the evening and every day was was like very stressful for me first we were like okay you know this is this is different there's a bit of a stigma behind, you know, dining her workers. I think there, a lot of them are labeled, like maybe I've heard um, just in the past that you know, they can't get another job or maybe they don't have as much education or this and that. I mean, at first it was a very different change for us because she worked in the medical field for over 20 years. So, she, you know, she was very avid in that field and I mean, she knew the ins and outs of it. And growing up, we always knew her as, oh, you know, my mom works as a medical assistant. So this is a very, very new um, phase in her life. Every PM shift, co-workers are my friends. We all like talk together and you know, we really have fun, especially on Sundays because I get to have lunch with them on Sunday. We're like families because they helped me move over here last year. I think no other work, um, co-workers will, will do that for me. As the months and months went by, we were like, wow, this is a really positive change for her. I mean, she would always, every time I'd call her, she'd be like, oh, I met a new friend today, or I did this today, or I helped this person. And we're like, wow, you work in such a positive community. Like, I couldn't believe it. And in the medical field, we never heard of that kind of news before. You know, it was very standard and it was very monotonous. You know, the routine was this and this and this. And then here she went out, she goes out with friends. I think that it just, it really depends on the individual, you know? I mean, for my mom, like, she, we really at first wanted her to get the medical job. But after we found out how much she really enjoys it and how that community has brought her so much happiness, it's like, well, if you're really happy there, then I think it's a win-win situation. She's just always been there for me, and she's just, she's probably the most inspirational person that I know. I feel like her heart is just so big and she she always tries like no matter what she even though I know like it's difficult for her and I feel like she does struggle a lot of times she'll just keep trying and trying and trying for us. I enjoy the job of course I have bad and good days but the co-workers are very nice people every time like I come to work and when I'm sad or something like that. They always cheer me up so it's worthwhile to come to work and see the people and also I can eat the food here and it's very delicious and I just love it. <laughs>